Water covers more than 70% of our planet, shaping landscapes, sustaining life, and connecting cultures. From vast oceans to tranquil lakes, each body of water tells a unique story of nature's power and beauty. In this journey, we'll explore 15 remarkable bodies of water, natural wonders that not only define geography but also inspire awe with their size, depth, and striking features. Whether carved by glaciers, fed by rivers, or stretching endlessly to the horizon, these waters are some of Earth's most captivating treasures. 15 Bodies of Water That Shape Our World A pond is a small, shallow body of still water, usually smaller than a lake. It can be natural or man-made and often supports a variety of plant and animal life, like frogs, fish, insects, and aquatic plants. Because it's shallow, sunlight can reach the bottom, helping plants grow throughout. A lake is a sizable, enclosed body of still water surrounded by land. It can be formed naturally through geological activity or created by humans as reservoirs. Lakes are deeper and larger than ponds and support a wide variety of aquatic plants and animals. A swamp is a type of wetland with saturated soil and standing water, often filled with trees and other vegetation. It supports diverse wildlife and helps control floods and filter water. A marsh is a wetland with shallow water and soft, waterlogged soil, dominated by grasses and reeds. It provides habitat for wildlife and helps filter water and control flooding. A bog is a wetland with acidic, waterlogged soil and a thick layer of peat, mainly fed by rainwater. It supports mosses and unique plants, and stores carbon over time. A river is a large, natural stream of flowing water that moves from higher ground toward a sea, lake, or another river. Rivers play a key role in shaping landscapes, providing water, and supporting ecosystems and human activities. A stream is a natural, flowing body of water that is smaller than a river. It typically forms from runoff, springs, or melting snow and flows downhill, joining larger bodies like rivers or lakes. Streams are important for ecosystems, providing habitat and fresh water for plants and animals. A waterfall is a natural feature where water flows over a vertical drop or a series of steep drops in a river or stream. It forms when water erodes softer rock beneath harder rock layers, creating a sudden drop. Waterfalls are often scenic and can vary greatly in size and height. A reservoir is a man-made or natural lake used to store water for drinking, irrigation, power, and flood control. It's usually created by damming rivers to manage and supply water when needed. An ocean is the largest body of saltwater on Earth, covering over 70% of the planet's surface. It plays a vital role in climate regulation, supports marine life, and connects continents. There are five major oceans, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic. A creek is a small, narrow stream of flowing water, usually smaller than a river but larger than a brook. Creeks often flow through forests, fields, or valleys and may feed into larger rivers or lakes. They are important for local ecosystems, providing water and habitat for various plants and animals. A sea is a large body of saltwater that is smaller than an ocean and often partially enclosed by land. Seas are connected to oceans and help support marine life, trade, and climate balance. Examples include the Mediterranean Sea and the South China Sea.
A gulf is a large area of the sea or ocean that is partly enclosed by land, typically with a narrow opening to the ocean. Gulfs are often deeper and larger than bays and serve as important locations for shipping, fishing, and coastal ecosystems. An example is the Gulf of Mexico. A lagoon is a shallow body of water separated from a larger sea or ocean by a barrier such as a sandbar, coral reef, or barrier island. Lagoons can be coastal or atoll type and often have calm waters that support unique ecosystems. A bay is a broad, curved inlet of a sea or lake where the land curves inward. It is partially enclosed by land but has a wide opening to the larger body of water. Bays provide safe harbors for ships and support marine life and coastal communities. An example is the San Francisco Bay. <laughs>